are live. I need to, I need to move the mic a little bit better closer. Damn it. No, I did. It just wouldn't click. Alright, welcome everybody. Are you a Mario fan? And yes, I am a huge Mario fan. You know, so this came up as a suggestion. Why not? version, this is the Game Boy Advance version, the NES version doesn't really give you much of a story, this one does. But you, can, you can't fault NES games for that, honestly, though. Stages too, so get through. <laughs> She's at it again trying to add me. Um, I find that funny. I find that super funny. She wants to talk to you. Nah. But that's not to discuss. I'm to discuss later. So <laughs> yeah, let's keep that private. so much, my dude. How much have you played this game? I don't know this one that much. The one that I know the most is um, Super Mario World. That's the one that I know the most. That's just about everybody in their world. I played... That did not see that Goomba. Damn it, chat! <laughs> I looked at the chat for one second and I just touched the fucking Goomba. I've played <laughs> the first one, obviously. Uh, the very original Super Mario Brothers. Yeah. And <laughs> you're fine, dude. That, that's that's just my fault. Have <laughs> you ever played Super Mario Brothers too? That one I haven't played yet. Oh, blasphemy! How have you not played that? Because I just wasn't into playing that. I've seen you play it so many times and beat it so many times that I'm just not into playing it. Oh yeah, that's true. It is a very short game. Welcome, Tamu. Welcome to the stream, dude. And you're fine for getting me killed. I can make up those lives easily. Chance. Occupied here. So I can get that out of the way so I can watch the FPS in the frames. Oh, why is this? I don't know that. Get my five lives here. Just like that. Just hit test widgets. There you go. 
Oh, damn it, there we go. Click too much. <laughs> Sorry. Open up Discord right. again. Right now, it looks like we're doing just fine. Five extra lives, so I'm doing pretty good in lives again, so. I shouldn't get game over unless I try for speed running. Which I'm still practicing that one. So, uh, how's your story coming along? Getting the writer's block yet? You win some, you lose some with streams. Yeah, I've seen a stream be like no second, like two seconds behind, and that's pretty impressive. Yeah, you gotta have a really badass computer to be able to do that. And I mean, like, really badass. You know, I hate how a star is hard to get that right there. You have to, like, jump at the right time. My phone doing help to it. I don't know. You opened it. Thought you turned it off. No. Oh. You opened Twitch. Yeah, I thought I exited out of that. good to hear, man. That's good. Yeah, sometimes it's just want to take a break or, you know, walk around. Um, it's, there are certain things, you know, it might stimulate your mind, get your, get your juices flowing. Stimulate your mind. Or play a different X game for a while and maybe come back and find you can actually beat the rest of X6. Stimulate your mind. Maybe you should give uh, the Burn to the Ground a try. Are you actually going to attempt an X7 Machoist run, or are you going to leave that one alone? I probably wish you luck at X7. I mean, you see, you see how much crap X7 keeps throwing at you, so it's very, very easy to take damage, especially if you're trying to be zero. Yeah, here, mushroom. I don't want you. Mario does not want your mushroom. Now, when you're playing around, now, all right. Now, when you're doing these stages, are you doing it like on the same save file, or are you doing them one at a time on a new file so to avoid the nightmare effect? I've been meaning to ask that question. Same save file, okay. So you do have to deal with all those flying pieces of rock more. <laughs> Okay, you know, that makes a little more sense because I'm noticing what boss order you're going in. You're avoiding stages having horrible nightmare effects. If you would have... I had to get that, so I'm not using it. Because if you would have done Blaze Heat Mix instead of Blizzard Wolf Bang, that stage would have just gotten worse. <laughs> that is true. Yeah, there's no reason to put yourself through extra hell if you don't want to. 
she could have done Infinity first, got him out of the way, and realized, oh wait, now I got two stages in pure darkness. I just made this game crap, like almost impossible. That would be a hell of a challenge, play through Rainy Turtleoy stage with darkness. That cannonball just went the fuck downtown. <sighs> How did I not get hit? That cannonball clearly went right through my hat. I think freaking that song stuck in my head. What song? It's Family Guy song. I didn't say anything about Family Guy. You, no, you said downtown. Oh. And it reminded me of the, um... I Cleveland s Quagmire, or Cleveland, oh my god. Uh, Peter and Quagmire episode where they do the, um... Before they make the band. Oh, I day I didn't watch a whole, whole lot of Family Guy. It's just kind of spotty. I'm with you, dude. I could probably defend X6 as well, but there's some things I just can't. I'll defend the music, hands down. I'll defend it. We get all the stages. We got perfect clear. We got a boat downtown. That's 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 what got stuck in my head. It's fine. <laughs> Not even familiar with the song anyway. Yeah, you don't watch both Family Guy. <laughs> Woo! Fire. Yes. Back in the day, Mario was really made well. It was actually between... When you was mentioning 3, I was thinking Super Mario World. But I haven't played 3 in a long time, honestly. So, And Super Mario World would be me just flying through that game like it's nothing. Because I would probably have to put a restriction like the no feather. <laughs> Or else I'd blow through that game like it's nothing. If, if, if you did all power-ups, you'd beat the game in like an hour and a half. No, it's called if you allow everything to go, you beat the game in like 15 minutes. Yeah. I'd have to say all Especially stages. Especially if you do the star roads, yeah. Exactly. I'd have to put a restriction on myself just so the game would end in like less than 20 minutes. I can listen to that music we just that on that stage. I can listen to that on a loop for hours. And some of those sounds have got a little upgrade from the NES game because it's a Game Boy Advance. I, I just wish I could have found a working NES emulator, but the only one I found was a Europe version, and holy shit, the sound did not sound right to me. So cancel. <laughs> I wish I might show my friend here later that. Oh god. I would easy to redownload it. I just. Ugh. Did not sound right at all. Can you. What are you doing, Link? Don't mind him. He's playing Breath of the Wild again. I like this game. It's fun. And I'm, at least I'm here. Yeah. And I'm not at home. True. Because if Chan over here, you know he won't be at home right now. Yeah, the last time he was here, he looked bored as fuck. Because he didn't have his Xbox. Yeah. Might as well marry the damn thing. Yeah, three of them. I say, marry them. Nice. Got the star fragment. 
Honestly, I thought that fire bar, that little fire dude was coming straight at me. Yeah, this might not be the most exciting Mario Bros. 3 to watch, but it's like, it's something different. Because everybody's usually power up this, power up that, gotta keep my lead. It's like me? Shit. One hit that kills me. <laughs> I feel like it's more. I feel like this way is better to play the game. It's like you treat it more challenging. If I had my Tanuki, I'd probably be almost in World Three right now. I'm getting those mushrooms consistently. Before the no power-ups, I all for years I would run like no oh fuck I'm going. That sun's out to kill me. He's got murder in his eyes. He just wants to hug you, hug the sun. Fuck that. Fuck tornado actually got me. I just wants to give you a hug. I got that jumped. This is the one thing as a kid that that kept getting my way. I didn't know how to defeat it, and I just realized just jump. Run, Mario, run, you son of a bitch. Give him a hug. No! Sun wants to burn me! No, he doesn't. His name is Mr. Sun. He just wants to hug you. Fuck off, Sun. <laughs> yeah, let me get my star and kill it and end the world. But I, as I was saying before the sun interrupted me, um, I would do no items because I usually have the time I forget I had those damn things. <laughs> I almost touched that, just out of instinct. Well, that'd have been a, that'd have been a reset. <laughs> oh shit, I almost got hit by, I just went up his eyeball. The only stage that allow, allow a power up is, it's one stage for sure in Pipeline, where it's a star run stage. Yeah. There you is, have to get it. I have to get the star. <laughs> That is the one stage for sure that is allowed because, yeah, without a star, you're dead. Mm -hmm. Ah! Oh, that's a one up. And the next card. Womp womp. And after this, after this is beaten, I can uh, showcase off a little other uh, classic arcade that comes bundled with all the Game Boy Advance Mario games. Yahoo! And I'm gonna quit after a certain phase. I ain't gonna go on for 99 of them. Aww. Dude, we'll be sitting here for hours. We'll sit here for hours doing that Never crap. My attention, my attention span would die. Mine would too, to be honest. Because after I think the 20th phase, it's all the same shit over and over and over. It just loops. Hey! Got one of everything. Got a star mushroom and flower. Nice. Getting the, the hammer or the music box. You know, people. I've people said they actually can determine who has the hammer, who has the music box. They say they've been studying these freaking Hammer Brothers, the way they move and act. They said they can almost always tell which one is on what, and I'd be like, hmm. Okay, how? Yeah, exactly. How? It's like the same damn way. It is. It's pattern. They say it's pattern based. That's cool, but I couldn't tell you how. <laughs> I just call it luck factor. So you say you never get, you didn't get far in this game? Oh, okay, I'll talk to no, both. I'll talk to really. both of you. Actually, both of you guys question. How far did you get? Well, no, wait. No, I beat, I beat it once. And it was because I was playing with you. By yourself, co-op doesn't count. I had, no, to, no. I had to revive your ass several times. But yes, I know co-op wise you helped me beat it after I beat it half the damn game. <sighs> At least Super Mario World you redeemed yourself a little. I just like Pipeland. Even though it's got annoying gimmicks, I like Pipeland. 
Dr. Rock. Not a fan of Iceland, though. Ugh. I'm not a fan of octopus. I honestly don't know why I thought that would work. I tried ducking a small Mario. Good job. Realizing I'm already small, I can't duck. That's because I accidentally read chat when I shouldn't have. The old chat death. So Tamu, have you played um what Mario games have you played? Like have you played the originals or you played more of the modern Mario? told me you're not a big you're not too big on the open world genre so I guess I can understand where you can stop at Mario 64 because it's all open world the, wa the soothing water music oh this swimming down I'm just gonna jump over the stage and just walk right over it there we go Fuck the stage, I just walk right over it. I say the water land is actually pretty high on my list too. I like the ones I like because I just like the water music itself. Oh, it's painful. Used to going through a star with this. <laughs> nah, I'm ignoring fish now. Oh shit. Ah, oh, death number two. I actually jumped right into it. You know I still got that freaking thing stuck in my tooth? I just finally got one out of mine. Yeah, good for you. Mine's still stuck in there. Well, you didn't have to eat it. It was only a suggestion. You're good. Uh, it's, it's basically a Snickers with ice cream, dude. I don't know why I'm jumping over fish. I'm just popping one ahead. about to come up on everybody's favorite fish. Uh, pardon me. Yo. Pardon me again. Really on stream? I can't help it. I got the burps, man. Wow, that, that note block just sent me to a death. Fuck. At least I said excuse me. I know. And just get real close up to the microphone and burp in it. <laughs> I don't even want to hear you say anything about that. This is the worst place to be. Rip. That is almost always a death to me in this situation. It sucks when you're small Mario and fight Hammer Brothers in the fucking water. Rip. Feels bad, man. Well. 
Well, I'm gonna take it casually now, cause I'm gonna say that's awesome me trying to speedrun that stage. <laughs> see, that, see, that was my attempts at speedrunning, and honestly, I just mess it up all the time. Suck a block. Suck on all the blocks. <laughs> what? What? You're kidding me. The freaking Chi Chi just jumped out in front of me as I built up my P speed and I got to get. What the hell? That goes. Damn, this stage really is wanting to kill me. I say I learned my lesson, but almost turned around and got eaten again. Now this fortress. Are you watching an ad? Are you watching an ad? No, your phone one just went off again. Like it was watching an ad. Or Hold on. This fortress, I swear to you, took me forever to beat because I didn't know it was the sixth door. <laughs> the sixth door is the one you go into. Every other door just dead ends or short, puts you back in the water. I would time out for a lot of times in this. Get through that quick so Billy Key 2 wouldn't come out and get me. I'm glad I didn't say no deaths because I sure am taking quite a bit of them. So that 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 spiny's gonna be there every time. Gotcha. I'm gonna have to remember that. I am not a speedrunner of this game, that is my facts. <laughs>
Wow, that blooper had it out for me, apparently. I could have sworn he was gonna go one direction and he freaking done like a freaking 180 and come right at me. Bloopers hate Mario, apparently. What did Mario ever do to them? Killed them in the first game, and then the second game. Well, in the, fir the first game, they have even more murderous intent. And all Mario's trying to do is trying to get to the castle. Maybe Mario should be trying to get to the castle. Oh, so he's just gonna let the princess stay locked up and Bowser do who knows what to her? Yeah, sure. Although many people speculate as what happens behind those closed gates. Oh, no. Oh, dear you. Precious mushrooms, they all fall down. I don't want any of them. Mario is on strike, he's on a mushroom-free diet now. Trap myself. Have you played, um, to my audience, have you played a lot of Yoshi's Island in the Super Mario World 2? version tends to make jumps easier for you because in the original those two blocks weren't there on the side of the pipe and that, that stick was there a lot closer I tried playing through it uh, you know, Yoshi's Island is really good design I like the design of it but if you're going for 100% game starts to suck in the last half Especially when you get the World 5 and it's extra stage. Oh my god. There's a reason I have not 100% that game yet. <laughs> it's those extra. It's extra 4, extra 5, and extra. Well, no, it's mainly 4 and 5. I just. Ugh. I'll get all the main stages, but not the extras. Fuck that. What did you think of the Bowser fight when you got to the very end of the game? Did it like blow your mind and surprise you, or was you expecting it? For Yoshi's Island? Because I, I think Yoshi's Island had like a really good soundtrack to the final boss. It was pretty strong for the yeah, Mario. Yeah, that was a fun boss. I mean, it's not gonna be. Well, it's, it's gonna be probably a little longer in Super Mario World, but damn, the music to that game, that Bowser can't be beat. Well, see, if you're going to say main stages like one through eight, I have done that 100%. But a pure 100%, nuh uh. I ain't done it. I usually leave out extra five and extra four. I usually leave those out and just skip them. The extra six ain't really that bad. But usually four and five I leave out. Three and eight and six I really don't feel like it. I just don't like the extra stages. I feel like their difficulty spike goes way too high. thing is, if you play the Game Boy Advance version of Yoshi's Island, guess what? They put in six more levels for you to play. 
called Extra Six, and there's like Extra One, and there's Bonus Stage One. So they put in six more, and they're just as fucking ridiculous. It's like, oh, thanks, more stages I don't want. No, don't even want to one-up. Mario wants nothing. So I guess if you want to play Yoshi's Island again, it probably wouldn't be too bad to pick up the Game Boy Advance for, excuse me, Advance version. They, they do add in six more stages, and the bonuses are a little easier to get. You only need, I think, 700 points total in the world to get the bonus minigame. Which is a lot better than 800. They award you one-ups out the ass. <laughs> like, I've never threatened a game over in Yoshi's Island on the Game Boy Advance. Actually, all the games on Game Boy Advance, they throw more lives at you. It's like they throw more lives at you. And the fact you can save does, it does help. For convenience, the Game Boy Advance versions take the, the 99 life count cap and throws it out the window. Because on my physical Super Mario Bros. 2 Advance copy, my file has almost 200 lives for getting everything. So that so you can have as many lives as you want, probably up to 999. Yoshi's Island, I ended, one of my files ended in over 300 lives easy. That's also where I played roulette and got pure lucky. It's like, hey, I'm gonna bet me 100 lives times two. Oh, 200 lives. Hot damn, I'm not, got, I'm not getting game over anytime soon. <laughs> that was almost all my lives. I saw that multiplier and I was like, oh shit, don't hit a zero, please. Don't hit the zero. I need those lives back. Kid giving me the first time as a boss. Hmm? But as a kid, you don't pay attention to those ring rings really. Nah. It's like step on it three times, okay, and those rings hurt. But Remy, on the other hand, helps you. And those balls you can bounce on them. Hey, it looks like me. But the thing is, once you beat this game, you can actually go back and clear the stages you did miss, or keep clearing them as much as you want. This game literally lets you replay the whole game cleared. Giant land where you are small and they are a giant. That's the gimmick of this world. Which I do like. I do like the gimmick of this world. Some might find this game hard, but to me, this is just—it's just too easy for me, honestly. Oh, 
Unless that stupid shit happens. It's why, it's why I kind of hinder myself and what I can do. Oh, hush. Rip. Rip. I think Mario wanted to go hug the piranha plant. Because that's exactly what he did. That was supposed to be me jumping, but apparently I must have hit the frame where I couldn't jump. Because in some games, Mario is not able to, oh my gosh, can't jump unless he's on ground for so many frames, and I think that was it. Like, I just kept sliding in my run. There we go. <laughs> oh, so you guys saying I jinxed it, huh? What was that? That reminds me. You, I think you guys were here when I was, uh, was it X7 or X6? I was dissing it, and then all of a sudden the game starts kicking my ass every time. I can't remember, was that X6 or, f or 7 or was it 5? It was one of those three. Talk bad about it, and all of a sudden I couldn't get anywhere. It's like, oh, you're gonna start dying now. Oh, Mario, quit hugging the enemies, damn it. I know you're curious about Koopas, damn. Yeah, when I'm not pouting playing. So just did not want to play like he should have. He should have went the other direction. Alright, fine, this game's not easy. There. Can I unjinx myself now? There we go. I thought about doing like a no touching tap challenge the best I could, but yeah, I you have some of that. I remember last time I did this, I stopped. I was like, damn, this is getting hard. Especially when you die, you gotta go through all those segments again. You should do the um for 64, you should do the, uh, the Green Demon Challenge. I did. I did it once. It's actually on one of the YouTube videos, if I remember correctly. We felt, we actually recorded me doing it. Oh, yeah, that's right. We did. Yeah, it took me a lot of tries, but I managed to do it. The Womp's Fortress. So fun. I think it was Womp's Fortress. I don't remember. It was either that or Bob Bomb Battlefield. That, it was a hard challenge. That, I remember it. I know that's all the Game Grumps do it, and Aaron losing his shit over it. Yeah. Mm. Phone's behind you. No, it's not this. Oh. Yeah, we can't be making everybody a mod. <laughs> I was looking at something. You just jumped to that place, you know, look at that. I didn't even think about that. Oh. 
perfect. I'm not collecting it, but... Uh, it didn't work. I think you can. And originally you can. Uh, yeah, I guess you can't do it in Game Boy Advance. If you get the regular version, if you just walk off and just go down with the flow, you can actually bypass that pipe without needing the frog suit, which it gives it to you. I guess the Game Boy Advance version won't let you. Too big. Or I guess they spaced it more appropriately. All these items I won't use. Will you all get out of my way. I didn't even want to fight all of you. Is this what they call the stream curse? Yep. In an easy game, you won't die hardly any, and then you just stop dying left and right. Got it. Stream curse, baby. Ah, right, on top of the cloud. Got it. And got a cloud. Now I, see, and I remember myself why I don't eat a Snickers ice cream bar. Yeah. Damn pain has to get all over your teeth. You can't get it all out. Bullshit! Bullshit! That should not a shot! <laughs> that bullet bill didn't follow logic. It did. No, when you're standing right, right next to them, they're not supposed to shoot. He shot. I mean, he didn't follow Mario logic. Hell, these prana plants follow it. See? Didn't shoot that time. Yeah, some more lives. I don't know why I thought that would, turtle was going to go down the hole when it's like one space deep wide. Get in the hole! I'm playing this game with power-ups. I don't know what that sound is. I mean, you're kind of playing one one hit kills. <laughs> I hear that a lot. into a coin. What is that? Your face. What? Why does that look like Volvagia? That's cool. Oh, 
forgot they do have dragons in this game, don't they? Saint Skyrim. So you, you, oh, by the way, Tim, in that one um, X video, you, you actually did, well, you explained it about X's little jump if you just need to have to face the wall. I was wondering how Iceless jump worked. One horses run. But I guess that's more frame perfect than that one. Please don't strike me with lightning. So I was always wondering how X can jump when it feels like his pixel feet doesn't even match. Because I'm pretty sure I, 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 I'm, I know I can do it most somewhat if I try. Because I always get the Flame Mammoth upgrade without using the Shotgun Ice Slide. I just jump up there and go for it. See, I didn't know that for the longest time, though. You actually showed me a handy trick with that. <laughs> now all that's missing is a montage you use using Hadouken on every X boss. Because I mentioned Skyrim. Oh, that one we were talking about earlier. Well, Razor was talking about it earlier. I've seen many YouTubers try to explain it, but when I go to try to execute it, I still find myself just not getting it down. I think once, I think I might have had it, but I didn't know I did, so I let go of my jump. Because they said you had to jump off a certain spot with a certain momentum, and the, the main trick is to not turn around. It's basically like you, you know, let X do his auto turn. Yeah, it probably does have a lot to do with math. I mean, look what you did. You zipped under an iceberg that I didn't think it was possible. You managed to zip right under it just in time. Oh shit, no, I knew bum, that was gonna bum, happen! Bum, bum, bum. You got munched. Yes! The instant, you got munchy munched. The instant I high jumped off that, I knew I was gonna get hit right <laughs> below. Muncher said, munch, 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 Mario booty. Yeah, he pretty much nipped my ass. I mean, I ain't gonna deny that one. Even though he walked right into it. He had Mario booty for breakfast. Oh shit, oh shit! Ah, that group almost fucked me. Munch, munch, munch. Munch, munch, munch. 
So Hoyt, let me ask you this, dude. How well, how much do you like Yoshi's Island? Or have you played it? Oh. Seems like every one of us has played it and like and really likes it. Trouble. Oh. Sapphires in this game are worth 260. That's a hefty price. Wow. If I had a little more time today, that could, you know, if I have plenty of time, you know, that could be a game. What? Yoshi's Island. That, yeah. that game takes time. Yeah, that's a um, one of those games that. Take a little bit of time. What do you got for me, Beatles? You know, actually, Tim, to be all frank with that, I thought all speedrunning was all about all kinds of tricks when, like X, it's it's basic movements. It's just you have to know the timing. <laughs> there is no real trick. It's like, oh, how do you get over that? It's like just run, roll, you made it. Smelly shoe. I did not have enough distance for that. Thank you. But if I did play Yoshi's Island, I don't know if I truly want to do 100%. Oh, come on, my friend. Oh, dude, <laughs> you really want to suck this in? I just no, as I will. No, no. You wouldn't even come over. You'd be like, nope, I'm staying home. Yeah, I'd be like, well, I'm gonna stay home today. Bye. Caught you a chicken chip for that. Yeah, no, me too for some reason. What? Yawning. I got a reason to yawn. I'm tired. Second, I'm literally trying to always minimize dash inputs. <laughs> yeah, that's why you got your dash jumps. Which at X7 is harder, it was harder than you think to do dash jumps. I would try to do a dash jump and either I just jump normally or I just dash. about the card. It was in my way. like Mega Man X speed running races or you just watch solos to me watching a race that tries to do a speed running like everybody like three or four people I, I find it interesting to just mainly watching one person or actually any games if you want to try to speed run it usually, I think races just makes it look a little more fun A certain uh, Twitch user was um, playing with five other people and they were uh, racing other games, like a bunch of games. And one of them was Donkey Kong or Game Boy. Pardon me. And by itself, it's a fun game to play, but watching it, it felt a little awkward sometimes watching it because it's just like, 
kind of like Lester, it's better to play. One of those would be better, it's better to play it. But if it was six people racing it, I, I actually enjoy watching it because you get to watch six different people fail. I like watching races like that. I like watching the, um... That's why races fascinate me more than just a single run sometimes. Um... The Mario run at GDQ this year. I still haven't watched all of them. <laughs> the one where it was, uh, Pooh Bear and, um... <sighs> Pooh Bear and Mikey, I want to say. But I don't think that's correct. I know I watched the one GDQ that had a Mega Man, I think, X2 race, that one player actually got a game over and he was out of the race because he was never going to win. Because he just died to the tightness of the jump. He just kept dying. And he just set the controller down and just went about. Oh, shit. He made it that. Yeah, poor Mikey. His, um... He got about him and Pooh Bear were right, right uh, next to each other in the run, and um, Pooh Bear moved his foot, and he hit the any the, uh, the oh, Super NES. Oh, I remember that. It's it, it basically turned the system. And he off. moved his foot and hit the Super NES on accident, and it froze the system, and he had to start all over again. And he could not catch up. So nope. race wise, he lost. But they were playing this one too. They were playing Super Mario Bros. Three. Okay, so I did because they were that. trying to do the uh, the pipeline glitch where it takes you to the end of the game, the end of the game. Yeah, he caught up somewhat, but not enough, and I don't know why. I just jumped right off the edge. <laughs> but um, yeah, he uh, he did it the first time, and he was like, "All right, you've got time to catch up. I'm only on world three. You can catch up with me." He starts catching up, and then what happens next? Whoever moves his foot again and accidentally hits it again the second time, and he said, "Well, I have no, I have no, I can't catch up now, but I'll still play just for the, you know, the cause." Yeah. And he starts playing it again, and Pooh Bear's already done, of course. And uh, I keep wanting to say Mikey, but I don't think that's right. But he's, um, he gets to where he starts to do the setup glitch, and he. He almost gets it, and then the game freezes. So he has to reset. But he did, they did like a save state kind of thing, where he just reset it and went right back to that. Yeah. And so he did the setup again, and he uh, got there, and then it started doing this the scroll down where it was all wonky and stuff. It gets to the end screen. Game soft locks hard locks or whatever. I think it was a hard lock because I think it, they said it's a chance. Yeah, the game, or the game. I think the game hard locked on him. And he was like, you know what? Close enough. I'm done. The game didn't want him to win. He said, I'm done. That's close enough. Get the fuck out of here. That is one enemy in Mario I hate. It's that damn fireball chain thing. I don't, I don't remember its name. That's the one enemy I don't like, especially in stage nine. But yeah, this, this guy, I forgot to talk about this guy, how we're up in the clouds. It makes you wonder, it's like, Bowser put all this up in the sky. Damn. Card. I was like, wait, what just popped up?
motherfucking fireball from the ceiling, which defies physics. That's how I did it anyway. These fireballs are defining physics in a bad way. It's like, how is there lava in the ceiling? And what was that all about? I jumped into lava. Good job. start to think about it, how does lava work upside down? Um, okay, obviously I'm missing something here. Okay, was it me or did that screen just take a second to scroll with me? <laughs> I feel like the camera unlocked itself, but Mario get ahead and just scrolled me. That, that's been fucking with me here a few times. I've noticed that a few times, and it's like messing with me. I guess this game doesn't believe in physics. Obviously not. I know Mario Galaxy and Mario Galaxy 2 just says, screw physics, we'll do what we want. Why didn't that open the door, though? I mean, you gotta stop to think. It's, you gotta stop to think. It's like Mario's walking on clouds. Question that right there. By the way, this short, this stage. If you just turn your head, you probably just missed it. It's done. <laughs> this stage I can run through. Stage. I remember dying so many times on this because of the auto scrolling and the enemies that fly at you. touch these enemies. You have no idea how many game overs I suffered here. Yeah, good luck with that. No, I did it. I suffered like three game overs doing it. Oh, yeah, yeah, because you outlast their fireballs and their explosion you have to dance around. It was not easy. I just, oh my god, I just, did I give up? Damn. Oh, I gotta do the. Okay, I know what I gotta do. Where are you? Castle 5. This game's going probably under two hours. Yeah, it's going pretty fast. Well, like I said, it's because I know. It's because I ain't using power ups this one. It's not going so fast. It's a little slow down. And the fact that I don't know how to P speed all the stages. Which, I mean, if I had my flutes, I could probably beat this under par 20. <laughs> if you had your flutes, you could beat this game in like 30 minutes, maybe. If I had the flute, if I used everything in my arsenal, I could probably beat the first four Mario games in probably under two hours easily. <laughs> like, alright, we're going through Mario, we're gonna just skip every Mario game, we're just gonna beat all the first four of them like it's nothing. In this game, physics aren't a thing. There is no such thing as physics in this game. Yeah, cannonballs, that's a prime example. They go in one direction, they don't go dunk like you think they would. I mean those cannonballs must be like made of like paper mache or something. Because if Mario can just stand there and let him hit him in the foot and they go boom. Well, I mean a bun a bullet bill is going uh, isn't going fast enough to kill Mario, I mean Exactly, inertia. There you go. Your science turn for the day, folks. Inertia. 
Mario needs to learn it. Or is it like that, um... Or is it what like Bugs Bunny once said? Um, because he's defying physics. I never studied it, so I wouldn't know. That old cartoon? If they don't, yes, if they don't, if they don't look down, it doesn't apply to them. So they can stand in the air. Besides Pipe Maze, I do like the world theme for World 6. Makes you think you're almost in an ice type area. Alright. Pipe Maze, and we'll get there. <laughs> Alright, so this is where my run of no power ups really starts to hammer in the hardness. Because of these assholes. Yeah. They got the blowy spike balls. Yep, this is where no power-ups really starts to difficult up now. These jerks introduced. Oh! Hurry, 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 hurry. Hurry, blow, 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 blow. Thank you. Get the fuck out of here. I had it to where that plant got me killed because he wouldn't do it. He wouldn't, <laughs> he wouldn't blow, he just kept sucking it. Shut up. He wouldn't blow. He kept sucking it. <laughs> nice choice of words there, friendo. You're the one that just put it out there for everybody to understand the joke now. I was willing to leave it alone. I don't know what that is. I don't want to bother with it. Stretching just felt weird. So how does everybody feel about ice physics? Ugh. Especially in their Mario game. Because to me, honestly, I don't like it. Especially... They can be, but it's dangerous if you're Luigi. He's already got butter shoes, and the ice just ramps it more. Like, I've tried to turn around, and I've probably skipped like two fucking feet before he finally decided to stop and turn around. That's Luigi for ya. Go butter feet. Dude, I love the water stages. Although, in my Zelda games, no. no. I hate them. In the water stages for Zelda, that's a different story. Oh, they God. never oh. made them fun. Oh, Mia. You know, I can see my reaction to that, honestly. the button when I was on the platform. Hey, there's my jump now. See, now that weird scrolling happened again. What the hell? Did the Game Boy Advance or... That just looked weird. That was a Tanuki suit up there, by the way. Up that piranha plant. There was a hidden Tanuki suit. I 
can't remember what stage in Pipeland I stopped doing my no touch challenge because I honestly just <laughs> fed up and got damn stupid and ridiculous with it. Yeah. I can't remember what stage it was. I know it was Pipeland for sure. If I can only click. Killed by a waffle. Yes, I got killed by the fucking waffle. Waffles. <sighs> the waffle deaths are the worst. Yeah, I know, right? I can take. I can tolerate a fire death. Yeah, I'll gladly take your weapon. Good sir. I want to collect the star so bad because I like killing Boo Boom with it and get an upside down question mark. The only stage where you can actually kill Boo Boom with a star. If you are quick enough. Ah! Now you don't have a weapon for you. Uh, and you know, honestly, until we played co op, I, I always kept forgetting what Boom Boom did in his second, third form. Like. Because you can cheese his death so quick. That's kind of why I'm glad in um, Super Mario 3D World they actually extended the fight suit and actually gets a chance. You don't just whoop his ass in three simple stomps. Okay, time to climb. Go, 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 go. Oh shit! No, oh, no! That's uh. So, I'll take a, I'll take an opinion on all three of you since you're both three here. What's your point on visual novel game? Depends on the game. And depends on the novel. Have you ever played one? Or yes, but I'm not gonna say what it was. We already know that genre out there. We'll call that the adult genre. Telltale does a pretty good job of what they do. Uh, this is it. This is one of the mandatory power up. This no, there's actually two stages. I forgot. This is one of them. I have to get power ups. Cause I have to fly my fucker at my fat ass out of here. Fuck you. But I will get myself hit immediately after I get out of here. So the start of the next stage, I will hit myself. Oh, that's right, I was supposed to go for mushrooms. Oops. Can you hand me the charge air, please? Maybe. That thing's always dying in your hands. Well, of course. Thank you, good sir. Speaking of Telltale, did you play the uh, Batman one or you just played the Walking Dead one? Where's the fish? I need to get hit. Yeah, plant will work too. Yeah, okay, we're back to normal. Thank <laughs> you. 
Game of Thrones? They made one? Huh. Oh, by the way, the no touch challenge in that little corridor sucked. I never would have thought of them touching Game of Thrones. Maybe they should try doing a Lord of Rings one. I couldn't even hit the fucking hammer, brother. Good, get out of my way. Asshole. You know, I had the Walking Dead one, but I have yet to finish that one. I don't know why, I just don't... I know I need the next three stories, but I just never finished the second story. Well, apparently his fireballs still hurt you even though he's dead. Streamer curse. After I called the game easy, it's starting to yeah, shit. Yeah. It's been it's shitting on me. Shit on you. <laughs> oh, I thought I screened him. There. Dying, get the fuck out of here. Now, I, I question if. Question if you get ripped in the face? No, I question if I quit looking at chat. <laughs> that was the reason I got killed. I thought you someone. Stop looking at chat. I'm s I want to chat to peeps. I thought point posted something and I looked and saw nothing and that's when a donut just carried me to my death. I've played the Borderlands version, the part of the first story. Would you like better, the Borderlands or Batman one? Oh, stretchy, stretch, stretch, stretch. Heart is evil. Hello, dude. Welcome. How was your day? Oh! Wow! I'll take that happy accident right there. <laughs> that was so accidental. I'll take it in low. I'm getting out of here. It's been pretty good. Tired for most of the day. Didn't really get a good amount of sleep. Hello, newcomer. Doing all right. I was I was doing good in this game until I said it was too easy, and then of course, the game you know, you jinx yourself and start dying left and right when you shouldn't. That's how it be. goes. <sighs> you jinx yourself, and the game says nope. Oh, I almost slid right into him. Good job there, friendo. At least Mario can slide right into the door and boom, boom. Whee! Hey, thanks for the follow. Tell me that did not just happen. It did. It did. 
Thank you, Parzee. You just brightened my spirit a little back up after I just died to fucking Boom Boom. Just slide right into him. Tell me not to die to Boom Boom. Now I'm not going to hear the end of it for a while. I'm not going to be fired for that now. <laughs> Fuck. Hey. I died to Boom Boom, and you mocked me. You died to Boom Boom, I get to do it right back. Yeah, yeah. But I just did it once like you did. I'm not going to sit here and nag you to death about it. And that's because ice physics. Fuck the ice physics. Whee! Slide right into the door. But yes, thank you for the follow. How's your day going so far? Yes, welcome. Like I said, welcome. Welcome to the unit. Gotcha, ass. Sorry, I was talking to this. Alright, that's better. I'm happier. Say anyway. welcome and everything. Unless I told the other two, I'll probably put a little bonus game here at the end. Oh shit, no, don't, don't even touch it. Oh. Damn it. I don't know how a person is supposed to get a one up through all that whole chain. This seems impossible. playing on RetroWatch right now. Yeah. Because sadly, we don't have a capture card. I wish I had a capture card. Right now, we're working on getting a second computer so that we can actually have a computer for our games and a computer for our uh, stream stuff. So that way, it's not all on one computer and killing the computer all together. But! Fuck! He grabbed the block before I did. But I do, I promise you, I do have this as a physical card. And I played the hell out of my physical card. The fact that I have over 4 million points. It's because I keep playing it over and over and beating it over and over. A lot of points there, Peter. Oh, look at my point total right now. Right. These guys are just jerks. What Mario enemy is not a jerk? Actually, that's a good sometimes. point. Well, piranha plants, because they're minding their own business. Yeah. And that, when you walk up to the side of the, the, the pipe, they're like, oh, 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 nope, he's right there. I'm not going to come out. You want me to come out? Nah. I'm not going to come out. I'm going to make you think I'm going to come out, and then I'm going to make you jump over and get scared and come back. You know, the fire-breathing plants are the near worst. <laughs> They just want to shit on your day and spit fireballs at you. That's how it goes sometimes. I damn it, I fell. Now I gotta go through the water. I'm out of here. Better bitches. It's funny watching Mario try to rev up. He's just shuffling as fast as he can. It is notches. Three more stages, and we're moving on to my favorite, one of my fun worlds. <laughs> Goofing off almost got me killed again. Come on, dude. Quit hitting my power-ups for me. <laughs> but basically, a lot of the games that we play on here, I've got a physical variation of it, but we're just missing the critical capture unit to basically get it all on a computer. So all we're missing is the capture, co capture card, but... Cards, different systems. Well, I need one capture card. What the hell setup are you talking about? You gonna have all the systems run through one? You don't need multiple capture cards. You just need one capture card, and then you run it through what system you want, and then you unplug that system and then run it through a different one. It's a lot easier. Fuck. 
Ooh, I almost landed right on a boo. Whew. That was the whole thing scaring me was me landing on a boo. Ah, it's just a stage layout. It's still a piece of cake. See, it's, the boo poops don't get any eat harder. It's the stage that makes them harder. That's just the annoying thing. Yeah. Hmm. That was weird. So, Parzy, of all, um, how big of a Mario fan are you? I want to know where Mario get, where Bowser gets all his money to do these airships. That's what I want to know. Where is he getting all the money for this stuff? Is he getting paid royalty for kidnapping Peach constantly? I don't know. I think he's just a. We know he's the king of his lamb, but where's all the gold coming from? Is he collecting it? I'm gonna die here. Yep. I'm a dead. It looks like chest not working or something. Hold on. It's working. You said test. All the damn airship. I'm not dead? Oh my god, I thought I died for a second there, actually. Whew. I looked away and thought oh, I just jumped to my death. Yeah, yeah. thought we had this fixed. Viewers are probably trying to talk to us and they can't. We had four, but then somebody dropped out because the frames started going bad. Yeah, and the frames just went up. And I died to Lemmy. I died to fucking Lemmy. Gotta be fucking kidding me. One person I don't like to die to, and it was him. Ah, of course, the fucking car's right in the way. mellowed out. I know. It's, it, we're still dropping frames. We're dropping 2.4% frames. 
I swear I keep thinking I'm gonna die there and I don't. Ugh. I just want to pass this damn airship. I don't hate repeating airships. Probably because the storm clouds are starting to roll in. That's why the internet's gone bad. Oh my god, dude, that's so bad. I mean, it, it's like they're teleporting. Awesome! Mario to learn to teleport. I at least want to beat the damn ship, okay? I ain't got nowhere else to save. <laughs> I kind of defeated everything. Beating the ship's my save point. Yeah, that's why. That's why. That's freaking out. This is becoming a common issue, though. It's, this is the third stream in a row it's doing this. Yep. Ooh, why am I standing in front of that? It's gotta be in the frame you're just getting so much. It's gotta be because the internet's going out. Defeat this little jackass. Catch me if you can. I'm over here. Whoo! Got your ass. And grab. Let's save it in the stream because I mean it stopped completely on that on that spot. Oh, I'll have to re probably a restart. Even I tried restarting my stream and it was still dropping frames, so. Oh. How did I spell gaming wrong? I don't know. Is it just G A N I? Yeah, it looks Alright, well, we're going. Fortunately, we're going to see if we can't solve a certain issue. No, I just got the pipe land. Uh, I like the NES pipe land a hell of a lot better than this. You said you had that done a long time ago. I did. Alright folks, well if you hang in there we're probably gonna turn it off. We're probably gonna turn it down. We're gonna um, turn off the stream just for a few minutes and see if we can't get our little rate issue here fixed because it's getting pretty bad. I'm sorry for everybody who just jumped in. You know, we don't like this any more than you do. We'll be right back.
What I needed.
Thank <laughs> you. 
what I needed. Let's go! <laughs> 
Ayan.
Let's go.